So welcome to street tag. The way street tag works is that once you walk, run or roll with your wheelchair to be within 40 meter radius of a virtual tag, just as we are, this is represents you on the map and we are now approaching the first tag location here. So if you tap on this tag, it will give you some information about the location of where that tag is and we're 70 meters away and as you get closer you reduce it so once we're within 40 meter radius of this tag then it should ping and we'll collect the points assigned to this tag so there's 100 points assigned to this tag there you go and it changes color to red in some instances it might be to fruit or vegetable or something else and you there will be a countdown on this tag so you cannot pick up the same tag until an hour has passed so you can see the countdown here so it means you can now also go and explore other tags all around you so to pick up as many tags as much as possible so now you can also sync your steps using the step syncing tool here so if you tap on that you can actually switch to a different step tracker if you want to so this will give you different options fitbit pedometer inbuilt pedometer you can also use the step support with some instructions as well so this is where you can upload your steps for the daily for the day and especially for your child as well as an option so you put in the amount of steps you upload the image select your username from here and then you click upload and the community will automatically verify the steps for you um, also if there aren't any tags around you use the add new tags click on that and make sure it's in a safe space and you can basically drop and plot your own tags all around you just click I'm also give me tags and please make sure there aren't any tags around you I mean if you try to if there are existing tags around you, it will not allow you to add that. You can also use the load tag to refresh the tags all around you. And in the menu, this is where your leaderboard is to view your leaderboard. And you can also use the playground where there are lots of different functionalities such as power hour, where you can set your power hour for the day. So you can use the app anytime you want, but if you pick an hour in the day that you set, then during that hour, all your tags points will be triple pointed. So you want to make sure you use that commute to an hour of exercise as much as you can on a daily basis. And you can also keep a streak score as well. Then you also have couch to PB. And most of this functionality, once you click through it, you can click on the information button here to read more about what they are and what their functionalities uh, what how it serves you PE code is also available so you can watch out for the different ways you can earn PE codes and this gives you extra points the message board it's where we send out push notification of uh, critical information news updates and you can often watch out for some extra P code just by reading those messages in a message board. You can also click this to get free points. And we encourage you to use the offline mode once you've uh, perfect how to use the online mode, especially if you're on iOS. So you go to that. So especially if you don't want to have your data turned on all the time, you can just use the hybrid mode, which is a mixture between offline and online. Or you can use the complete offline mode, which is what we recommend. And you can click the information button here to learn more about how to best use this functionality. All in all, very important in the settings here. If you click on in the settings, you can always contact us either on our social media or through the app directly to raise a support ticket. And we'd be more than happy to help you. And we have our team working practically from eight in the morning to midnight uh, offering customer support. You can always add a child 
add up to two children to your account. And there's some key functionalities in here as well. You can control your data, download your data from here. You can also um, delete, wipe your data from here uh, directly as well. And please always make sure you have your scanning background mode on, especially if, once you're ready to head out to collect tags. This would mean once you have this on, you can actually just have the app running in background mode, close your screen. You don't have to stare at your phone screen all the time and you can collect as many tags as possible on your on your walking and cycling or running or wheelchair route that you're taking. So, and finally, here's the dashboard where you can view some stats about your team. So clicking on that, you can view some information mm -hmm. uh, across here. You can also view your streak from your power hour. So these are the basics of how to use the street tag app. Hope you find it useful. And there's more information in our FAQ on the app.